This is part two to my reading of the article on what is Linux anyway. We've left off um, after talking about the fact that the system is secure. Before I continue, I wanted to apologize for any trip-ups that I may have done because I was trying to watch the time and read this at the same time, which was not an easy task. But we are almost done, so it is my hope that we will be able to get this done without having to get into a part three. Let's continue. It's easy. This is a new one. It used to be fairly difficult for a new user to try out Linux, mostly because installation was difficult. Once the system is set up, though, it only stops for hardware failure. My mom's been using Linux, Ubuntu specifically, since Thanksgiving of 2006. I set it up for her, showed her where Firefox was, excuse me, told her she could find whatever she needs in the applications menu, and got a train to go back to school, got on a train to go back to school, my apologies, 250 miles away. But by New Year, she was bragging to her friends about how much faster and easier this Linux thing was than Windows. Wow! And they said only a geek could figure out Linux. A side note, for those of you who have seen my little um, stereotypes right or wrong video, I withdraw my statement about Linux being for geeks. That's going on record. Back to the article. Uh, my mom took a month to figure out... My mom took a month to, f to figure out email. Yeah, I'm on the right line. Uh, my siblings were still asking me to install software for them after five years of Windows. On Linux, they mark a few checkboxes to choose what they want to install, hit apply, and everything downloads and installs automatically. No hunting the internet for installers. How do I get it? You can download an ISO from any of the distribution's websites or burn your own install disk or get a friend to give you a disk. Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu, mails out free CDs too. A side note, for those of you who have older Macintoshes, Ubuntu, they have a specific version of Ubuntu for the PowerPC architecture. Back to the article. You can also get DVD versions which have extra stuff included. Many of the distros of many of the distros online for a small fee. Side note, these usually ch run for about 5 bucks. Back to the article. Finally, check your local computer store. Sometimes Xandros is available with the regular boxed software. If you, if you really don't want to try to install it yourself, check for a local LUG. They often have install fests where you can bring your computer to get help from someone with a bit more experience. I'm not sure what an LUG is, so, and I'm not about to click, these are links in the articles, by the way, but I'm not about to click those because, um, uh, you know, I don't want to get sidetracked. What's with that ping, what's with that penguin up there? Linus Torvalds, the man who started the development of Linux, back when he was a student at the University of Helsinki, was once bit by a penguin. Hmm, that's a new one for me. When the idea of having a Linux logo came up, he suggested a cute, friendly little penguin as the mascot. He said it was more interesting and fun because you can do things with a mascot like that, which you simply cannot do with a rectangle that says Linux. The penguin's name is Tux, and he was created by Larry Ewing using the GIMP. The GIMP is a... this is a side note... The GIMP is a Photoshop equivalent um, for Linux. That has concluded the article. This is a footnote. Mackenzie is a college student who likes to promote Linux and free Libre software. Most of her free time is spent on the computer helping new users or hanging out with some of the friends she's made in the Linux community.
check out her blog, and this is a link, Ubuntu Tips and Tricks. This concludes the article. Um, there is a very tiny scroll bar that only takes up about a fourth of the page. We are done with the article, however, but I already looked. The rest of this is um, comments. So, what do you think? I've been using Ubuntu for some time now before my, um, before my uh, UMPC went south and my uh, Parallels distribution expired, and I like it a lot. I, I, I absolutely love it. It's, it's just fantastic. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, the side effect on the UMPC, I learned, was from the fact that UMPCs weren't really meant to handle Linux, and this happened... To, I, I only learned this about a week ago, and this is... Let's see, I, started, I installed it in October, and it is now... About eight months. Go figure. Um, parallels, the only real problems I'm having have to revolve around the fact that it's running on a virtual setup. What did you think of the article? What are your takes on it? Ta what is your take on it? If you if you guys want to read it in finer detail, I will have a link posted directly to the article so you can read it for yourself. And um, I apologize for this having to be split up into two sections. I didn't expect this to take as long as it did. Um, and within the article, there are links. So if you want to get some more information on a certain item, for example, LUG or Ubuntu, you know, go ahead and do it and it'll, you know, give you all the information you need. Um, there are also various titles out there for new users. For example, I have this book here, Ubuntu Linux for Dummies, and it comes with a free software disk inside. Now this particular distribution of Ubuntu is, um, uh, let me see here, Hang on a moment. Ah, here we go. Uh, it's uh, Ubuntu version 6.10. They're up to version 8.04, so I wouldn't recommend using this CD. I'd recommend um, just downloading or getting your own, you know, disc, ordering it. If you get it, they say six to eight weeks, but I got it within about two weeks, so they're pretty speedy. Thank you for watching this, and I apologize again for having to split this up into two parts. If you have not watched part one, first of all, you're crazy. Just kidding. No offense. But you, I mean, why would you watch a two before watching a one, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like watching the middle to the end and the beginning to the middle, and you have to put them together sort of backwards. So, where are you with that? Um, but yeah, um, give me some input. Part one, you can also comment on part one as well. Uh, thank you for your contribution, and I hope you give Linux a try. I hope to get it running myself once I can get a question answered about running Ubuntu on my Mac. I've got a couple scenarios set up. I even emailed Chris Perillo on this one. Just waiting to hear back from him. So, um, you know, you know, give it a try and tell me what you think, and uh, thank you. Have a nice evening.